This was a very clever scheme that they were involved in. So if someone goes out and then they find that uh, there's thousands of computers that are moving in there and uh, have someone that's associated with them who is a computer um, genius, I suppose, uh, who then gets all the, um, the um, ID numbers or whatever, the IP numbers. And, um, and then comes into court and ask for discovery. And then that request for discovery is granted. And then they get the, they contact the um, companies like Verizon and some of the others. And they they get the um, they get the names of these people. Or at least they get the uh, uh, the name of the subscriber. And they get the address. And they send out these letters um, telling the recipient. Dear so-and-so, Steel Hansmeyer has been retained by AEF Holding LLC to pursue legal action against people who illegally downloaded their copyrighted content. <clears throat> Digital pirates. Digital piracy is a very serious problem for adult content producers, such as our client who depend on revenues to sustain their businesses and pay their employees. On May 2011, it's all blocked out, our agents observed the IP address with which you are associated illegally downloading and sharing with others via the BitTorrent protocol. It, it took me uh, because I've got smart law clerks figure out what BitTorrent is. The following copyrighted files. This is the copyrighted file. Sexual Obsession. The ISP, it's the internet service provider you are connected to. Comcast Cable Communications. Your IP address you were assigned during your illegal activity. We have received a subpoena return from your ISP confirming that you are indeed the person that was associated with the IP address that was performing the illegal downloading of our client's content listed above. On July 7th, we filed a lawsuit in the federal court in the Northern District of California. Under the federal rules of civil procedure, our lawsuit against you personally will not commence until we serve you with a complaint, which we are prepared to do if settlement efforts fail. While it's too late to undo the legal file sharing associated with your IP address, we have prepared an offer to enable our client to recover damages for the harm caused by illegal downloading and to allow both parties to avoid the expense of a lawsuit. And then they go on uh, and talk that donors can recover $150,000, statutory damages. And uh, another case where 20,000 per pirated file. And it goes on. And illegal, then they talk about uh, 
More recently, on December 22, 2010, a case in which a defendant was accused of illegally downloading six works via BitTorrent, a settlement was reached for $250,000. And uh, then they, they make him an offer. In exchange for a comprehensive release of all legal claims in this matter, which will enable you to avoid becoming a named defendant in our lawsuit, our firm is authorized to accept the sum of $3,400 in full settlement of the claims. Offer will expire. It's 10-24-2011 at 4 p.m. CST. If you reject our offers, we expect to serve you with a complaint to commence litigation. Uh, and then they tell them, make your checks, money order, payable to Steele Hansmeyer. Uh, so they have that. Or you can fax it in or whatever. Be sure to reference your case number and your REF number, your method of payment, you know. Goes on. Huh? And then they offer this release that they'll send back. So here they are. They, they write to this person who they've identified and they tell him, yeah, somebody in your household was looking at these, this porno and they describe it. And uh, they tell him your conduct was illegal. And uh, it's got to scare the hell out of somebody that sees that. And uh, then they offer him, you know, you, you can settle this for 40, whatever it was. $4,000. $4,000. And then we have evidence that some of them are making, one of them bragged about making $15 million, one of your clients. You know, I mean, that is just a, a ingenious, crooked, extortionate operation. 